what happened when I put him in the jersey my grandfather left me. I put him jersey and poof, jumped into the pro game. Hey, I'm your cousin. It's my turn. The jersey put me in the game, and I was a superstar. You were the MVP? I had power. I loved it. It's like the jersey has a mind of its own. Would I disappear to another dimension? Time for an entry in my compendium of jersey phenomena. We rock. Awesome. It was amazing. Together we can do anything. Team work, yeah! Yeah, it's hot. I can't think of a better place to spend the last day of our summer vacation. What? Am I the only one looking forward to starting school? Of course I am. I'm the smartest. <laughs> I'm psyched. I'm finally not the new kid at school anymore. I got you guys, and soccer's gonna be awesome. Too, Too much, much, son. son. Uh, excuse me, mister. I'm gonna be starting quarterback on the JV team this year. I got the skill, I got the talent, and... I got the classic good looks. I just hope they have a helmet big enough to fit his swollen head. <laughs> Help me out, you guys. <laughs> so admit, the first day of school is pretty cool. Catching up with people, seeing who's changed. Hey, Warren, how's that summer mountain climbing? Hey, Coleman, Elliot, you guys joining the clubs this year? Definitely. I just can't decide. Debate team or modern dance? Easy choice. Nobody wants to see you in tights. <laughs> what about you, Elliot? I'm joining the computer club, or, as you may know it, the future billionaires of America. Hey, Willa, do you hear that annoying buzzing sound? Oh, look, a swarm of sophomores. Hey, we're not freshmen anymore. You can't keep treating us like subhuman organisms. There's that buzzing sound again. What is that? Wow, she looks mad. Looks like we ran a lap today. What's up, Mrs. M? I don't know how to tell you girls this, but the school board has cut our funding. The soccer season's canceled. What? I fought with the superintendent for an hour and a half. Well, how much could the team cost? Some balls, a couple of nets? It's not that simple. Between insurance and field maintenance, it adds up to nearly $3,000 a year. Well, there has to be some way we can fight this. Well, I'm sorry, girls. Season's over. Guys hurt? Then you're not working hard enough. All right, let's get this practice started. Hey, coach. What are you looking for? Little girls' room? No. I'm Nick Leiter. Where do you want the quarterbacks? Quarterback? You'd be lucky to meet a quarterback. You're gone. Now get out of here. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I'm more of a Steve Young type with a little Peyton Manning mixed in. Hold this. This is the debate club, right? Maybe it is. Maybe somebody put the wrong sign up. Why would they do that? You tell me. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, man. Welcome to the debate club. What makes you think I'm interested in joining? Much more sophisticated. 
I was the computer club. I spoke the beta versions of the OS they were totally stuck on. Good for you! That is good, right? Let's just say that they think of me as some sort of a god. The only bad news is that they need me to help out tonight. During the Monday night game. Whew, what a relief. I got a meeting with the debate team tonight. I was worried that Nick and Morgan would bag on me, but now they'll be too busy bagging on you. <laughs> this is going to be the first game in years that we haven't watched together. Yeah, but we got good excuses. Yeah, we've got nothing to be ashamed of. Right. But when we tell Nick and Morgan, you go first. Ah! Oh, my poor football hero. Hey! Hey, oh, so Nicky, are you uh, psyched for the first Monday night game of the year? <laughs> Ow! Dad! Easy, honey. You had kind of a rough day. Hi! Hi, Hi sweetie. Hi, honey. Mm. Hey, guys, I've got some great news. Lighter Than Air Sports is going to have a booth at the North American Championship Swim Meet Sunday. That's great. Lindsey Banko's going to be there. Four-time national champion, World Cup medal winner. Two-time American record holder. I have to meet her. I didn't know you were a swim fan. Please. I have to know where she got that bathing suit. Are you ready for some football? Uh, oh, no. Barking. Nick's itchy friends. Not another football season. Hey, Hiller. Hillary. And it is no secret, folks. There is no love lost between these two teams. After the ah. Let's just say starting quarterback isn't exactly the lock I thought it was going to be. I really need your guys' help with a passing route at halftime. Did you guys hear the horrible news? They canceled girls' soccer. Oh, so what's the horrible news? We heard about it this afternoon. Sorry. It may just be money to the school board, but it's my soccer team. We gotta start up to get a petition going. Make signs, call people, do whatever it takes. We have to take control. Tonight's not the best. We'll get hundreds, no, thousands of signatures. We'll get everybody we know to call downtown and tell them that they're wrong. We'll start tonight. You guys with me? The truth is... Ellie can't stay very long tonight. What? Oh, I have a computer club scheduling conflict, but Coleman's got a debate meeting. Oh, so you're bailing too. I couldn't help it. Half the guys want to meet Mondays, half don't. I'm going to argue about this tonight. <laughs> One day at school and you're turning your back on the MNFC? My club depends on me. You know, being a god is not as easy as one might think. <sighs> I guess it's just you and me tonight, Nick. It's you and me if we're running passing plays at halftime. I don't have time. I have a crisis I'm dealing with. I have a crisis, too. I'm not going to be a guard. So that's the way you guys want it. Everybody's just too busy? Fine. Do what you have to do. I'll do the petition on my own. I got pocket dummies who pay better attention. What are you daydreaming about now? Uh, sorry, coach, I got distracted. See if you can focus on this. Ten laps. Go. Oh. I hear the school board's been flooded with calls. We got the most signatures on a petition in school history. Good news, girls. Based on Morgan's wonderful publicity campaign and hundreds of angry phone calls. I only made 15 or 20, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> the school board has unanimously voted to reinstate girls' soccer. Oh, yes. 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 We're even allowed to start practicing in anticipation of next year's league. Wait, next year? The budget for this year's already been approved. But because of your efforts, the girls' soccer program is safe for years to come. Well, what about this year? There's no way. Wait! You said it was a budget issue, right? What if we could find a way to raise the $3,000 that we need? Then could we still play? Well, I suppose, theoretically, but even if you did raise it, it would have to be by Monday when the budget's officially approved. $3,000 in a weekend? 
that's only like impossible. No fumble, no foul. The Jersey will be right back. Part of Extra Helpings Weekends. For one of my favorite Disney Channel original shows, So Weird, I'm going to use a spell to summon extra, extra episodes of it. Annie, Fiona on TV, with so much so weird to see. Extra helpings all the way, ten full hours on all day. Extra villains that will fright, extra bumps in the night. You can't beat so much TV, it's so weird for you and me. Extra helpings of So Weird, beginning tomorrow at 11.10 Central, part of Zoog Extra Helpings Weekend. Why don't you drop the attitude? It's about tough choices. You mess up here and you're gone. It's about relationships. You can be such a drama queen. Anything else you want to trash about me? It's about making a difference. You don't think I can do this? It's nothing personal. You have to back off! Clear. It's about growing up. I broke the rule. Break another one and you're gone. Clear? In a heartbeat. Saturdays at 7, 6 central, part of Zoog Weekends. Sunday on the Wonderful World of Disney. Hey, yo. Scott oh, Calvin oh. is getting into the holiday spirit oh, oh. the only way he can. You killed him. By accident. Oh. Hang on. It's the holiday classic comedy for the whole family. You're the new Santa. You put on the suit, you're the big guy. Ha! You put on a little weight. Does this look like a little weight to you? The ah! Wonderful World of Disney presents Tim Allen. If we go straight on this road, do we hit I-94? The Santa Claus, ABC Sunday, 7, 6 Central. Tonight on Disney. When it comes to science, there's no problem 13-year-old Charlie Boyle can't solve. You're a physics genius. But there are certain other things even a genius can't figure out. And for that, Charlie's about to discover a whole new side to himself. Yo, who's Chaz? He's the bomb. It's an experiment so big, to pull it off, it's going to take a genius. It's a Disney Channel original movie, Genius. Tonight at 945, 845 Central, right after Johnny Tsunami, part of Extra Helpings Weekends. You've scored! We now return to the Jersey, part of Extra Helpings Weekend. So, that's it for girl soccer? You've been squashed by the system? Wake up, Hillary. That's what they do. I haven't been squashed by anyone. I'm going to raise that $3,000, and I'm going to squash them. I love it. What are you going to do? I'm going to hold a huge car wash on Sunday. Are you crazy? Maybe you haven't taken algebra yet. But even if you charge $10 a car, you can... <laughs> I'm not saying it's not a long shot. No, Nick making quarterback is a long shot. This is inconceivable. Hang on. There could be something good here. You think I can do it, Willa? Not a chance. But this could make a killer zine article. One girl's impossible fight. Her pathetic determination in the face of certain failure. Except I'm not going to fail. Oh, that is so cute. Oh. Here's your first 10. No, no, no. We're covering the story now. We have to remain neutral. Hey! Coach, wait up. I have to talk to you. I've been practicing on my own, working on my drop back, my long ball. You know, Lighters, if you're going to be a guard, you need to put on about 20 pounds. Coach, I'm a quarterback. I can do it. Just give me a chance. I got four quarterbacks already. Good ones. And I'm only going to carry three on the roster. But, Coach, playing quarterback has been my dream my whole life. You and every other kid has ever picked up a football. Now, let me tell you something about dreams. Okay? You get one shot. I practice on Monday. I'll let you show me what you can do. And if you can beat two of those guys out, then you're in. And if I don't? Then those guys will show you the best buffets in town. I cannot take the pressure. This hero worship, it was fun at first, but these tech heads, they expect a miracle every day. The debate club can't agree on anything. We meet every day just to argue about when we should meet. I haven't even had the chance to get with Nick to run past plays. The stress is destroying me. <laughs> Oh, man. Morgan's car wash is this Sunday? I can't make it. That's our next debate meeting. Yeah, just what I needed, more stress.
It's still early. Hey, I'm surprised the guys aren't here. Me too. I'm sorry, honey. Look, you did your best. There just wasn't enough time to publicize it. Besides, half of St. Louis is down at the big swim meet, and everyone who isn't is watching it on TV. You're right. No wonder this car wash has been the biggest flop of the year. Thanks, Mom. Come on, Nick. I really need the jersey. Forget it. I need to use it. But the computer club has a problem that I can't solve, and I have to face them in an hour. You've got to help me jump into a New York game. Has he lost his mind? Basically, yes. There's a conference of computer experts in New York at Yankee Stadium. He thinks if you guys jump into Yankees, he can walk right in. Hey. I'm using the jersey, okay? I need to jump into Kurt Warner and Peyton Manning after so I can practice for my last shot at being quarterback. There's a solution. Each of you should write a position paper and we can have a debate. Would you stop with all that debate stuff? <sighs> Ooh, interesting rebuttal. Shut up! Hey, Nick, give me the jersey. I need it. What is this? I'm using the jersey, and that's final, okay? But I need to jump into Lindsay Banco at the swim meet so I can tell everybody there and everybody watching it on TV about my car wash. That's an even dumber idea than Elliot's dumb idea. Hey! I can't even believe you guys. I have been working really hard to keep the soccer program. You haven't even been around. <laughs> now you won't even let me use the jersey? I'm sorry the soccer program was canceled. It's not my fault. But you know how bad I want to be quarterback. And none of you have been there for me either. The break, the break, the break, oh, the break, 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 the I never even thought about you. A week ago, nothing was more important to us than the MNFC, and now look at us. Go ahead, Nick. Use the jersey. My idea was just a dumb long shot anyway. I gotta go. I gotta get back to my car wash. Yeah, you take the jersey, Nick. I'll go help Morgan. This computer, guys. They can wait. I'm going too. Good luck, Nick. Second down and eight, and the Redskins go to the ground again for a gain of four yards. This capacity crowd is buzzing as four-time national champion Lindsey Banco prepares for the 200-meter freestyle. Oh, well. Maybe I can make quarterback next season. Nick? Oh! And there they go. Another great start for Lindsey Banco. And this crowd adores her. Look at that amazing kid. Is it any wonder she won five medals, including two gold at the 1999 Pan Pacific Championships? This is off to a huge lead, and it doesn't look like anyone's going to catch this three-time NCAA champion. Look at her go. The power, the elegance. <laughs> And Lindsay Banco wins. Yeah! 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 This is kind of cool. What's this? Apparently a slight misunderstanding over the ownership of a towel pool side. Lindsay Binko delivers yet another fantastic performance. Lindsay? Yeah, I was flying there, huh? <laughs> that you were. So you must really be looking forward to Sydney, competing against the world's best athletes. Actually, there's something else I'd rather talk about. Ah, the national championships. Um, no, girls' soccer. Excuse me? The Fairfield High girls' soccer program was canceled. Uh... Dad! Yeah, I, I mean... Sure that, I uh... mean, Larry Leiter. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him about Morgan's car wash. Uh, uh, Hillary, really, it's, uh, it's you're not going to believe this. And it's on the corner of 3rd and Main. That's all very interesting, but if we could get back to the Sydney Olympics. Are you going to take your car there? My, my car? I just had my car washed. <laughs> so you're saying you don't support local sports? No, 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 I'm not saying that at all. In fact, I'm a big supporter. I want all of you out there right now to take your cars, trucks, campers, anything you have, and get down there in the corner of 3rd and Main. If we could just get back to the Sydney Olympics. In uh, fact, I'm going down there right now. But you have an event in an hour. And I'll swim better if my car is clean. Uh, 
So how did you get so involved in this girls' soccer issue? What issue? Girls' soccer at Fairfield High. It, it was canceled. Oh, that's terrible. Women's athletics are so important. Somebody should really do something about that. You said there was a car wash. Well, don't tell me. Tell St. Louis. Right. Uh... <laughs> Hillary! I thought you were gone. Uh, I was, but, um, now I'm back. Uh, I started doing my own laundry. <laughs> uh, gotta go. It'd be very cool of you guys to help out. If you weren't here, I'd be sitting around doing nothing all by myself. Morgan! Hey, guys, what's up? Where's everybody? Sure, rub it in. No, you don't understand. I told everyone, I mean, Lindsay Benko told everyone, everybody at the swim stadium knows about your car wash. You jumped into Lindsay Benko for me? Yeah. Very cool, man. Although she, uh, she doesn't seem to have the clout one might have expected. I don't get it. I was very clear. I told everyone to bring their cars to the corner of 3rd and Main. What? I don't know how to break this to you, man, but we're at the corner of 5th and Main. Uh, Morgan, you got any more of those signs? Yeah. Okay, we have to get all these people over here. Come on, you guys, let's go. No fumble, no foul. The jersey will be right back. Part of Extra Helpings Weekends. Hi, everybody. I am Michelle Kwan. And if you didn't know already, I'm a figure skater. I just want to give you a few tips on how to skate. You might want to pretend that you're walking. And then later on, you'll start to glide. And then you get really fancy. You could do even one foot one. You could do that going backwards, too. And then when you become an expert, you can do spin, triple jumps, and then before you know it, you know, you're in the Olympics. Bye. Hey, surfers, the name of the movie is The Emperor's New Groove, and here's a sneak peek. Oh, yeah. In The Emperor's New Groove, the smart aleck emperor, Cusco, gets turned into a llama by the evil sorceress, Yzma, who wants to take over his kingdom. <laughs> Cusco, he's a spoiled uh, prince. Booyah! Welcome to Cusco-topia, my ultimate summer getaway. Complete with water slide. Unfortunately, kind of like this little problem child. Yeah, I'm never the good guy, so I'm getting used to that. Emperor Cusco desperately tries to regain his throne with the help of Pacha, played by John Goodman. He's strong, not necessarily the quickest witted guy in the world, but he's dependable, loyal, and um, he's a big, really big family man. Pacha has to save Cusco. He drags him out of the bottom of a lake and pulls him up. He knows that he has to give the kiss of life to the llama. The Ooh. tongue flops out, which is kind of the last uh, thing you want to see. For the last time, it was not a kiss. He gets betrayed by uh, Cusco two or three times. In the right foot. Who's right? You're right or, or mine? I don't care. Mine. Well, why yours? Okay, you're right. I somehow drift over the side of good. Uh-oh. Don't tell me. We're about to go over a huge waterfall. Yep. Sharp rocks at the bottom? Most likely. Bring it on. Be sure to catch The Emperor's New Groove coming to theaters on December 15th. You've scored! We now return to the Jersey, part of Extra Helping's Weekend. <laughs> Help with that extra practice at the park with Nick pays off. Ready. Set. Yeah, I know. Because I'm still tired. <laughs> Come on, yeah. Nick. Do it. Oh, let's get it, baby. Go,
Well, son, I'm afraid you're just not ready to start a quarterback for me. I understand. Thanks for the shot, coach. But you are good enough to be third string. Then get out of here. Yes! Yeah. Up next on the jersey, Elliot uses the jersey to impress a girl as the Jersey Marathon continues, part of Extra Helpings Weekends. Weekend. 